Hello, everybody. This is Tin Man. Um, we just set up something. Okay. Done. Okay. All right. So um, <laughs> I'm just coming up live at random time. So happy, happy Saturday. Um, so uh, it's been it's been a long day today. Um, I finished a three hours coaching call with the group uh, today this morning, and it was pretty intense. Uh, there were uh, lots of questions, uh, lots of uh, photo critiques and stuff, and uh, I basically just crashed afterwards, and I and I fell asleep for a few hours, and I just woke up. So, anyways, uh, so today's topic is uh, about uh, Queen's Gambit. So, any of you uh, watched uh, the Queen's Queen's Gambit game bit in uh, in Netflix? Let me know. Uh, see if you enjoyed it or not. So, um, so I recently finished it, and uh, it is one of the hottest um, TV series. I think it's a it, mini TV series in Netflix. Uh, is uh, really good. So, by the way, um, this is gonna be a big spoiler alert for for this uh, video. So, if you haven't watched. Uh, the Queen's Game bit, or you are in the middle of it, uh, just stop watching now and uh, come back to this video after you finish it. Uh, because I'm going to talk a lot about the whole plot and, and stuff like that. But um, so I finished it and I really like it. And, uh, and somehow I think uh, we can all learn from it to apply to our wildlife uh, photography. So hey, Susan, so glad you, uh, you watch it. So, so it's a uh, is is a uh, very random thought, so I just want to uh, let you guys know. So, um, so anyway, so so uh, games, a uh, queen's game bit is about a uh, a girl who uh, who has a natural talent in in playing chess, and uh, is talk it talked about uh, her way of fighting demons uh, in her mind and a lot of uh, personal struggle, and eventually she had to play the. Uh, the, the the world champion uh, who is a uh, uh, a player in Russia, right? So the 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 the, the TV uh, the the whole program was just beautiful. So has lots of uh, unexpectedness and twist, right? So that's why it it caught it just got me on the on the on the edge of my chair the the whole time. It was uh, really really good, and uh, also is um, beautiful. It's beautifully shot, right? The whole movie, like when she was looking into uh, the ceiling in her room after she took those pills, you know, like those inverted uh, chairs play moving around. It's just amazing, like three dimensional moving, and it's just brought us into a fantasy world, right? And also the the story is uh, very simple. Right, it's just just about a girl playing chess and wanted to become a world champion, uh, and so uh, so basically, it's, it has a simplicity, and and it always had the flashback of the the girl thinking about a car car accident when she was uh, with her mom, right? So it got us into this. Uh, uh, into a feeling of uh, uh, mystery, right? A lot of mysterious feeling in it. And so uh, mystery, unexpectedness, uh, beautiful, and the simplicity, all, all four things are, are very important uh, in terms of uh, photography too. So uh, when I first started wildlife photography, a lot of people told me to get as clear as possible for the whole photo, right? When we are photographing a bird, right? It's got to be all sharp, uh, head sharp, eye sharp, or every single feather, and also the tails and the talons and the feet, right? Everything got to be sharp. But after some years, when I got more into photography, I realized that you got to have some mystery in it. it gotta, the photo got to have some mysterious feeling, like, right? you know, with the, the, the color, with, uh, with some foreground blur and, and all these kind of things, right? So that is, that is the, the basic thing about photography. But what I really want to talk about today is um, about this thing called uh, the hero's journey. Any, any of you here heard about the, the hero's journey by uh, Joseph Campbell? So uh, if you think, Think about the whole storyline of uh, Queen's Game bit. Even though it has a lot of new things, there's right? lots of stuff we, we never expected, a lot of uh, crazy stuff happening. But actually, it fits perfectly into the whole structure of uh, Hero's Journey. Um, and if you are not familiar with Hero's Journey, you just uh, Google uh, Hero's Journey. And you should be uh, got into a Wikipedia page uh, that talks about uh, Joseph Campbell and then the 12 stages of uh, 
hero's journey. And uh, for example, they said that uh, Star Wars is following this uh, hero's journey structure, and that's why it becomes such a famous uh, movie. And there are a lot of uh, famous story that is following this structure as well. And for Queen's Gambit, right? Let, let's just go back. So there are a few stages that I want to talk about. Right? So the hero's journey always starts starts with uh, ordinary world, right? So it began well, even even though it is not like completely uh, uh, extraordinary, right? But uh, the girl was in an orphanage, right? So she's like living day to day life, going to 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 classes and lining up for 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 food and 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 meals and everything. So that is her ordinary world, right? So hero's journey always starts with that, right? Like for example, movies like Rocky, right? It started with uh, just kind of like a bum in the neighborhood, not doing anything, right? You know, uh, everything like that. Also like, uh, uh, well, anyways, you, you get the idea, right? And then, um, uh, and then the second stage of hero's journey is call to adventure. So uh, she find out about chess, right? Uh, 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 where he, she saw the janitor playing and then she wanted the janitor to uh, teach her, right? So that is also the stage about meeting the mentor. They always have um, called the uh, call to adventure and meeting the mentor, right? And then, so everything is still following the, the hero's journey, right? And then uh, later she was adopted by, uh, by, by a couple, right? And turned out that even though at first it looks all nice, but turned out that the, the husband left uh, the lady, right? So they were out of money. And um, and so they needed money and then she realized that uh, by winning a award in um, in chess, actually can make a lot of money. Like uh, at the time, she can make a hundred bucks, right? If she went into, was it Kentucky? If she won a championship like that. So with, without money, that is become like crossing the threshold, like the point of uh, Point of no return. That's what they call in this hero's journey. So this is like if if she doesn't go, if she just didn't she didn't win the uh, the Kentucky championship, they would be out of money, right? So she had to go, and then her later her mom was uh, supporting her too. So that is really uh, how she went, started this whole journey into that, right? And later uh, she started to form allies, right? So uh, she has, she has a lot of help. Like she started to meet some friends, and then she also makes some enemies too, right? And and so the, the, this whole story went on and then uh, uh, at, the, at the critical point um, she was uh, uh, her mother died right and then uh, she also lost to uh, was it Borkov was it the, the name of the, the, the USSR champion so she lost the game uh, terribly too because of some accidents or something and uh, with her mother dying and then all the childhood demon came come, coming back she just went into this uh, abyss right like basically just fall off the cliff basically she started to drink like crazy and um, she just basically gave up Right. She said every day she was completely drunk, uh, lying on the floor and everything. And so basically that is what the hero's journey called the death. Um, and every single story of those hero's journey always get into this uh, uh, rock bottom part. And and once she got into this rock bottom part, there was someone who showed up, right? So if you guys remember who showed up, it was her uh, childhood best friend, right? The, the the lady, she she came knocking on her door, right? And that really to, uh, make her feel like she was loved and then she uh, through a lot of uh, uh, struggles she started to come back right so that is uh, when she comes back all these uh, mentors all these helpers right the uh, the state championship who became uh, her boyfriend and also the the u.s open champion also came back and then they form a team and also her first love right uh towns right also came 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 out and then they are all helping her and then she she went into this final fight right so that is the 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 uh, kind of the end of the the hero's journey and then she uh, she went and fight uh, the, the the championship uh, the, the cha champ ussr champion one last time and uh, if you have seen, you haven't seen the, the the TV show, don't listen to me. Uh, well, I, now I still haven't released the, the main point, so definitely stop the the pause it, pause the video first, and then watch it later because I don't want to spoil the uh, uh, the the whole the whole thing. So so watch it later and come back uh, TD if you haven't watched it. Uh, but for those people who uh, who have watched it, right? So you know, uh, so that was actually not the end, right? So she finally went to fight, uh, uh, she went to Russia to uh, to play with uh, this champion uh, one last time. And this time it was very different from before. Right? Before she was fighting all along, but this time she has all the help. And 
after she won, um, she not only uh, won in the external world. So, so the hero's journey is always um, two things, right? One is the external, one is the internal. So in externally, she won the championship, but at the end, she instead of going to uh, Washington D.C. to um, I, you know, um, getting all the recognition and stuff like that. She actually asked the, uh, the driver to stop the car in Russia. And then she walked out and then she walked towards all these um, elderly people who, who play chess uh, just for fun. And then she started to join them. And that is actually a triumph internally. So she realized that uh, playing chess is not just uh, for, for the recognition, for winning the game. is because of her original love about, about, uh, about this game. So she started to see this joy of purely doing this for fun, right? So that is another triumph uh, internally. So for a hero's journey, there's always the internal and the external. Like for example, in, in Rocky, right? Even though Rocky at the end, uh, in the first first one, uh, he lost to Apollo Creed, right? Uh, so the external side of Rocky, uh, he lost, right? But internally, uh, all he was thinking is just uh, go this, go the distance with, uh, with Apollo Creed, right? So he actually was able to stand the whole time in the fight. So internally, he won for that game. And then he was uh, calling his, his, uh, his wife at the time. Uh, and so uh, that one is like for the love and for internal is, is a triumph. So Hero's Journey always have these two things, right? So at the end, this, uh, this TV series have uh, both of them being transformed. So the key thing about Hero's Journey is about the transformation, the, the whole value reversal about how everything, and then she find out about that she, she has always been loved all along, right? She went back to her uh, orphanage and then saw that uh, the janitor actually collected all the newspaper clips and uh, that part really moved me to tears, right? Finding that uh, she had he had collected all the all the, uh, all the uh, news about that and and uh, actually even though she didn't visit him uh, for the longest time but uh, she wanted to make sure that uh, when she was doing an interview they make uh, she had to make sure that they write down that uh, he was uh, her mentor right so that that is really uh, something really amazing on, on that part but anyways so what i really want to say is um, surprisingly even though a tv series that is so novel so new so unexpected such a refreshing uh, feeling, but at the end, it actually followed the hero's journey like like perfectly, right, right to the point, and there is no deviation about the whole hero's journey. And um, you may think, well, then, then what is the, the new thing? How come they couldn't really create new things instead of all, always following the hero's journey? Well, the the main reason is because we can all be creative in, in creating our art, right? But there is actually a proven formula about how human psychology works. Like, for example, um, if you see something, if you hear something, if you see certain stories, you be moved to tears and laughter because there is just this formula that has been battle-tested, time-tested uh, by a lot of um, screenwriters and storytellers. And so they know exactly how our human brain works. And if the story fits into this kind of framework. Uh, it will just work. Everybody will love that movie, and people will be transformed themselves. They will be cheering for for the for the main character there, right? So, so that's what I wanted to say. So there is really a time tested, proven formula to trigger people's emotion. If you don't follow this formula, it's not going to work. And if you follow them, even though you have a lot of variations in it, it's still going to work. And so if you are interested in learning more about this hero's journey, definitely check out uh, Joseph Campbell. I think it's called The Heroes of a Thousand Face. It's a really, really long and big book, but it, it takes you a long time to, to read it. But so so your question may be, so Tin Man, so how, how do you apply to photography? You said that photography is uh, related, right? So yes, photography is exactly related because photography is one kind of uh, visual art. And for any visual art, uh, our ultimate goal is to create photos that move people right because uh, people don't need another beauty like there, there's no need for another pretty pictures right there people want to be moved people want to see things that touch them and so in order to create photos that move people there is also a formula that uh, we have to use to to trigger that and uh, as Robert McKee said um, story so you have to tell a story with your photos and story 
equals to mood plus emotion, right? So that is also kind of like a summary of the uh, of hero's journey, and that is actually. Uh, what I have been doing for the last ten years to really crack this code about uh, about photography. How do you create something that uh, that move people? So, for example, let me just uh, share a few photos. Like for example, like if you just take a quick look of some of the photos that I took, uh, instead of trying to uh, create something that is all clear and sharp with all the details, with direct light shining on them, I try to uh, capture something that. Um, that has more like like mysterious feeling, um, something that is mysterious, uh, something that is uh, with like beautiful light, something like. And so you don't see the whole picture, but you you co-create uh, with 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 the photographer, like creating something like that. And there is uh, uh let me see. Where, where else is the, the photo right here? Yes, uh, something like that. You know, there is some uh, twist, some contrast. Uh, the mother and the siblings is sleeping, but this one is rising all up, and then uh, showing the the contrast in the colors and everything. So it it is it is a little bit different from the hero's journey because hero's journey takes like like a few hours to to do that. But how do you create a frame out of this hero's journey that tells a story? That is uh, what. The, the fun really is. And if you know uh, this formula, this uh, formula that uh, like uh, Da Vinci, uh, Monet, uh, Rembrandt, and uh, Caravaggio, is it how you pronounce his name, sorry about my English? You know, if you know about all these uh, master, grandmaster oil painters, how they did it over the years, like spending 15 years to uh, perfect a Mona Lisa, for example, right? Eh? Uh, they know exactly this formula. And I believe that this formula is closely related to the hero's journey. And uh, and anyway, so so I just want you guys to start thinking um, a little bit outside the box instead of just like going out and chasing the next bird or wildlife. Try to think about what is this um, hidden formula uh, that makes uh, the Queen's game bit and also maybe... Uh, Game of Thrones, except the last season, <laughs> you know, uh, like all all these um, uh, iconic, uh, like uh, uh, Breaking Bad, you know, like some of those uh, very successful TV series, they all are following this hero's journey, like ordinary life, and then going to the uh, starting the journey, and then uh, uh, allies, uh, enemies, and then mentors, and then go into a beast, and then finally they transform themselves, right? So that is uh, that is something that I want to. Uh, share with you about this uh, Quinn's uh, game bit. And um, anyway, so so I just wanted to start this discussion and um, and I'm I'm going to work on my webinar tomorrow. So I have a live webinar uh, going to happen tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And I will go actually more into the technical side about what is this hero's journey. I may use a different wording tomorrow. Uh, but what what is this hidden thing to trigger emotion to create great photos uh, every time? Right, we need technical skill. We need uh, uh, skills to trigger emotion. We need to have uh, uh, you know get rid of the noise. Uh, really show a lot of details. All these things coming together. But we only like if we see the animal. We only have one second before we click the shutter. Right? How do we think about all these things? How do we create this hero's journey into a photo to make it? Iconic and timeless is uh, something that uh, I will talk about it more. But if you haven't uh, definitely registered for my uh, webinar for tomorrow, I think it's uh, tinmanly.com slash live. Uh, and I'll put the link uh, uh, at the at the post later or, or maybe uh, if you check out the, the, in the comments, uh, I'll post the link there. But anyways, uh, uh, hope you hope you guys enjoy this, this talk and uh, I'll see you guys uh, Later, so so Laurie, hey Laurie, you don't need to go go there because you are already <laughs> in in the program. But uh, just go to tinmanly.com slash live and then you see that. Um, and also go into the events in the in the award winning uh, photo page. Uh, I have already put out a link there. Um, uh, yeah. So anyway, so thanks a lot, uh, everybody, and very good to see you guys and. Uh, and I guess I'm going to pull an all-nighter tonight. <laughs> so got to start, start now. Okay, all right. So talk to you guys soon.